So we've now got to identify the DPC. Where is the DPC? How do you find, how do you know where a DPC is? The way I would identify a DPC, DPC light, is to, you should be able to see. Visible, visible, visual, visual. Yeah, a bit of membrane, could be a bit of slate. Yeah. Um, maybe the, you can't identify that, you can't see it. How else would you determine when the dump proof course is? I'm not sure. Yeah, so if you look at your doors, your front door, your back door, the threshold, your threshold sits on a DPC. Okay. So if you come off that, you know you're, you've got your DPC. Is that always the case? In every um, 90% of the time, yeah. Okay. I've made it easy for you here because I've painted the line. Right, so shall we cut some XPS boards? XPS boards, yeah. So, um, if you'd want to do, go around and take some rough measurements yep. to see if it's consistent with the damp proof course. What if I've just got some thinner EPS? Can I just use that for that? Absolutely use? not. Why do we use XPS? Because it's, it's denser. Well, it's a waterproof board, yeah. So everything below DPC has to be XPS. Right, okay. right. And the important thing is you're not bridging that damp course with your XPS. Right, so as a special treat today, I brought along my hot wire cutter for you, Steve. Beautiful. So it makes those nice, accurate cuts and no mess. So we've cut the boards, all that 150. Um, how do we stick the boards? Right, so um, we have two waterproof products. Okay. You've got your premium base coat 225 and you've got your aqua base. They are the only two products suitable for below DPC. Okay. So using the EPS base coat is a big no-no. Okay, so even if I'm using the EPS above, I can't use it below? You can't use it below. Today we're going to be actually using premium base coat 225. I've always found the best thing to do is to look after yourself. So obviously it's getting the right PPE, high visits, goggles, etc. Glasses, masks. You want a mask, absolutely. Yeah. You want to really look after your back. So yep. the best thing you can absolutely. do is get someone else to knock it up for you. Welcome to the team, Bert. Yeah. Right, you can see, but um, knocked off your uh, premium base coat. Excellent. So, how are you going to propose for sticking those to the wall? So with the XPS, you always want to make sure you do a complete coverage on the back of the board. Brilliant, excellent. Not no crap. dabbing, yeah, no dabbing. No dabbing. No. A full bond on the back, full coverage. That's an excellent job, Steve. It's not quite on that front edge where we don't want it right on that front edge. Um, you've got a nice overlap in the corner, so if it ever shrinks back, it's always covered. Oh, so, we're just going to put our base rail on top of that. Now, there's something that's needed. I'm trying to think what it is. It's an important part of the system. Mm, I wonder what it is as well. Mm. What's that in your hand, Steve? Expanding phone tape. Expanding phone tape. Why do we use expanding phone tape? It's a primary water seal and it's also an air seal. So okay. the important thing to remember is, cut it to length, okay. but you don't want to be just going up to the corner there, you want to be overlapping it onto your return wall. Okay, why so, do you want to overlap it? So that if it shrinks back, it doesn't create a gap. So where else will you use this expanding foam? Um, so uh, the expanding foam goes at F3 interface. So where you're abutting up to anything, it would need to go there. Any pipe work coming out of the building, it would need to go around there. Anywhere where water can leak in or air can leak out. The maximum expansion for it to work is 8mm, but you want to be setting it at about 2 to 3mm. So we've cut our... Um... Base track for the EPS. Yes. Do you want to do the same thing again with the packers? 
Exactly, yes. Um, just because we've raised the big dump course, it doesn't mean the walls are mounted free con uh, flat. That makes perfect sense. Uh, right, absolute fantastic job mate, uh, big round of the level, all nice and level, all nicely to line, so that will make our installing our EPS a lot easier. So, um, as we mentioned earlier, um, this is going to be a party wall. Yep. So what do we do at a party wall if this has already been um, insulated? Yeah.